Hey everyone, it's Anthony with Policy Buff, and it's been a minute since we released a video. We just launched our newest flash unit, the Link, and if you're not familiar with it, you can learn more about it here. It's been pretty crazy for us. It's a two-person marketing department, but we're super stoked to get back into these How I Got the Shot videos. We're continuing on on our series about gridded modifiers, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about our foldable beauty dishes, both the white and the silver. Before we get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell to be notified when we post some sweet new content, and let's get into it. Before we get started in the actual shoot, we just wanted to show what the foldable beauty dish looks like in its various states on just a basic portrait. So you're gonna see an example of just the beauty dish by itself, the beauty dish with the inner panel, the beauty dish with the inner panel and the diffusion fabric, and then the beauty dish, inner panel, diffusion fabric, and the grid. As you remember from our previous video, grids provide a narrowed down spread of light and make it more directional. We offer both a foldable beauty dish in white and silver. The biggest difference between the two, the silver gives you a little bit more of a specular look and the white is a little bit softer. For these examples, we use just the silver beauty dish, but as you can imagine, the white is gonna be pretty much the same except a little bit softer and a little bit less specular. Getting into the shoot, y'all know that I love a beauty dish. So I was pretty much in my element here and I was working with my makeup artist Nisi to create a couple different looks. Uh, the reason we did a couple different ones was one for tech so that she would have some variation in her portfolio, but also for the purpose of this video so we could show you guys what the silver looks like and what the white looks like. For this first look, I put tech in this like silky blue blouse that she had brought with her and I was going over the makeup with Nisi and decided that I wanted to use a white beauty dish because I wanted something that was softer and would still give me that fashion editorial feel that I was looking for but not as much pop as something that a silver beauty dish would. I know this is a grid video, but when I first started shooting with tech, I totally had the grid and the diffusion panel on, but as we got going, executive decision, decided to pull both those off and just shot with the inner reflective panel. It just gave the vibrance and look that I was going for and made things a little bit brighter. For the setup, I used two lights. I had my main light in front of tech and it was boomed out overhead and angled slightly down onto her face. For the backdrop, I decided I wanted to play off the blue jewel tones of tech's shirt and gel my background. Just wait one second. For my backdrop, I used a blue gel dome that works with the Link Flash unit and used a gray seamless so that I can get more saturation of color. I boomed my backlight up and out and angled it down onto the paper. I used a seven inch reflector on the Link and pulled tech about eight feet from the backdrop to avoid any of that color spilling back onto her. Take a look at these final images using the white beauty dish. For the second look, it was the last and final look that we were doing for the day, and I gave Nisi the go-ahead to do whatever she wanted makeup-wise, and she was creating this really graphic, angular brow on tech, and it was giving me this warrior vibe, so I wanted to pull in the silver beauty dish because I wanted the specular graphic kind of pop. Again, obviously a grid video. Obviously, I didn't use a grid. I started out using both the grid and the inner panel and the reflective light blocker, but it wasn't giving me the vibrance and the mood that I kind of wanted. So I ended up stripping all that out and just literally using the silver beauty dish all by its lonesome self. No light blocker, no nothing. Shooting with just the silver interior of the beauty dish gave me more contrast and more specular highlights that allowed me to add more interest to that makeup. The positioning of the lights for this setup was exactly the same as our previous look. The only thing I did different is I quickly changed out the blue gel on the back to the red gel dome. Take a look at the final images from this set using the silver beauty dish. So we know this was supposed to be a grid video. And I didn't lie to you, I showed you how the grid worked in the beginning, but you know when you're like in the moment and trying to do something and you just realize maybe you didn't need a grid and that's okay. So here we are. If anything, I showed you that sometimes a grid is not the appropriate solution. Thanks so much for tuning in on our foldable beauty dish video. 
guest starring grids for like two seconds. Uh, but do us a favor, head on over to Instagram, give us a follow at Policy Buff Inc. And if you want to be featured on our page, go ahead and use that hashtag Policy Buff and we'll catch you on the next one.